So welcome everyone back to another video. So two years ago, I filmed a collection video of my dad collecting his BMW 320D, which is this car right here. And today, it's new car time for him. Right, so I'm not going to reveal what car it is yet. You're going to have to wait to see that in a moment. But all I'm going to say is very top spec. Are you excited for it though? I'm uh, really excited. Yeah. It is a hell of an upgrade compared to this. So this obviously at the minute is a 320D BMW E92. Um, it's currently at like 92,000 miles. So I kind of said to dad, it's kind of approaching the 100K mark. So it's going to lose a lot of value soon. Um, and also being the M47 engine, the timing chain's a little bit hit and miss. So dad had a look at an upgrade and we've now obviously going to collect it. So the car is in the dealer about four and a half hours away and we've currently got two hours left so uh, we've been on the road a little bit of time we've stopped as well but, uh, for the toilet but yeah not too long left but before dad put a deposit on this car he checked it out using car vertical now car vertical provides vehicle history checks for any car or motorcycle all you need is the vin or registration so if you haven't skipped the video you're going to see exactly what car we're going to have a look at but i've just brought up the report here but it's saying it's had no mileage discrepancies it's not been stolen not been an accident and mainly not got any outstanding finance because imagine buying a car that still had outstanding finance that will then give you a lot of problems so if you scroll down here it gives you all the activity feed of when it was manufactured it shows you all the mot's and then when it's had a, a registration plate change here it also gives you a load of information here that said it's not it's not being exported it's not being imported it's not being seized it's not being used as a taxi and if you scroll down here it says it's not been stolen in these countries so that's all good and here you've got the mileage graph which shows a nice curve if this were to be sort of up and down up and down you'd know it's been clocked in the past there's absolutely loads of information on here and as well evaluation and specs and all sorts. So luckily the car we're going to have a look at is all clean and the records are all okay. But if you take a look at this BMW 3 Series here, you can see that yeah it's not all okay it's coming up here that it's been in an accident and if we scroll down it says here it was written off in the uk and it was a category s write-off and if the car has been in a crash you even see on some reports the crash damage photos from the auction sites and uh yeah you can tell this has uh, had a fair old hit so definitely worth avoiding so if you want to save some time money and potential headache on a vehicle click the link in the description down below to check out car vertical and use code bb10 for 10 percent off your purchase Thanks again to Car Vertical for sponsoring today's video. You can't focus, it's too wide. <laughs> focus, focus. <laughs> right, so it's saying it's uh, two minutes away, 0 0.3 miles. It should be over here on the left somewhere. So we have arrived. So, here is Dad's potentially new car. It is a BMW 535D, but it's a super spec one. Honestly, the spec on this is incredible. Look how nice it is. What do you think so far, Dad? Yeah, very good. Really nice. It's nice, isn't it? Far more modern though, than the E90 interior. Oh, it is pretty. Cool. Yeah, So I actually found this car on Auto Trader for Dad because I basically said that this thing is be perfect for him. So he's currently running a diesel and he kind of st wants to stay with a diesel. But this is the three liter twin turbo diesel lump. Um, obviously the 535D, so it's gonna be good on fuel. It's got like 310 horsepower, a lot of torque, amazing spec, including 360 camera, uh, electronic boot, Harman Kardon. Obviously it's got the bigger nav, auto lights, wipers, electric hand brake, all the rest of it. And I'll run through the, f uh, the full spec when we do a little walk around when we're back home. Such a top spec car and uh, I reckon he's gonna love it. Right guys, cheers, thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. So you need to hold the side, pull it back towards you and drop the handbrake. So foot on the brake. So we've been on the road for a couple of hours now, and we've done 130 miles, and what is your first impressions? Oh, it's really good. 
verify where it's actually driving it. And just yeah, look at the driving. weather. It's been bad weather the whole way, so he's not really had time to put his foot down or anything. We, we, we're sort of playing uh, with the cars, the iDrive, and setting it all up. There's a load of features with this car. It's a very good spec, as I've said before, but what's your favourite feature? Don't know yet. It's, I suppose it is hard to tell, but like the, the sound system as well, it's, it's got like the Logic 7 Harman Kardon. It does sound really good. I am going to fine tune it to make it sound even better. In terms of MPG, on the way up, so Dad's old car got 54.3 miles to the gallon from our house to the dealer, and we're currently on this one, 42.4. So there's about 10 MPG difference so far, but it, it is increasing, so it will probably get a lot higher. Um, the further we get down the trip, but it'll be interesting to see what a two litre single turbo diesel does versus a three litre twin turbo diesel with a lot heavier car. So, it'll be interesting to see. So the car is the 2014 BMW 535D with the 3 litre twin turbo diesel lump in it. And this thing comes with an amazing spec such as the 360 cameras, the electronic boot where you swipe your foot underneath the boot and it lifts it up and you can do that to close it as well. There's also buttons inside to close it also. The Logic 7 surround sound carbon cardon system which sounds amazing. Reverse camera of course, auto lights and wipers. Only 65,000 miles with full BMW service history, heated to electric memory seats, electric handbrake and a ZF8 speed gearbox. And doesn't this thing just look amazing? And yeah, what a car. And can I just point out that this has 310 horsepower and about 630 new meters of torque. So it definitely shifts well. Right, so it's now about a week later. We've actually put the plates on and we've also sorted out the iDrive and sorted out the settings. I've also used Carly to code a load of features to the car, like the remote memory start stop and also the audible beep and stuff like that. But dad, you've had it a week. What's, what's something you dislike about it first? Fuel consumption is <laughs> a lot less than what it was on the yeah. 320. He's, he's averaging about 27.5 mpg at the minute, and on his old one, it was about 40.5, something like that. Yeah, but that's because I'm doing a lot of short journeys, so it's not long journeys. But on a longer journey, it wasn't so bad. Yeah. So. But um, on the long journey, I think we ended up getting 43, which I think was about 10 mpg less than the old car. Yeah. But then we're it's an extra turbo, it's an extra liter engine, and also it's a big old lump, do you know what I mean? Oh yeah, um, but it's much more worth it. What do you yeah. like about it? Oh, the, the drive is amazing. Really, really comfortable. It is it's so responsive. comfy, isn't it? Yeah, it's responsive. So it's like it's like being, if I was going to say anything, it's like being on a boat. So yeah. you're actually sat on it and you don't know. You're just driving along, really, really comfortable. It's so smooth. And it's bear in mind, these are passive dampers. This is not got adaptive uh, suspension. And it is so, in comfort plus, it's so smooth and that, that. And then in, in sports, it proper knuckles down and just feels a lot more, well, it wouldn't say it's connected, but it's a, it, it definitely, you know, goes down the road, right, doesn't it? I mean, it, it's, it's 310 horsepower, so it definitely flies. So yeah, what's your plans for it? Well, I'm not gonna change a lot on this one. Um, I think no. it's much different now, so I really wanna change the wheels. They're great as they are, but I just want something a little bit different and also yeah. the tires. I'm gonna go for slightly bigger, probably go up to 20 inch, they're 19, just to make the feel the, the arches a bit better. Yeah, and we'll, and get big, we'll still get bigger tires though, yeah. so it's nice Keep the comfy. comfort. Yeah, the front tires are a little bit old and they're a little bit cracked and perished. So um, yeah, we'll get, uh, at some point we'll get all new wheels and all new tires all the way around, a slightly bigger profile. Um, but yeah, I think as well, it just, it, it's slightly too high, it would need lowering, but yeah, that's something to look forward to in the future. If there's anything else that you think my dad should get on his car, let him know, or let us know in the comment section down below. One um, question I've got though, quickly, go is on. should I have the badges patched on these? Should I go for different colours? I did have black and white on the loved ones, but I like, oh. I saw black and silver in there, he's looking at me, it's all funny. No, I think you but, should keep it standard. Well, I don't know, let me know. Yeah, that's good, and also the chrome grills, do you reckon they should go black? Let us know, but um, yeah. Other than that, make sure you leave a like, rate, comment and subscribe and we shall catch you guys in a brand new video. Take care.